All right, it's time to talk a little PGA with prize picks here for the 3M Open. I am Ben Razza, this is Stochastic, and I'm going to be bringing you some of my favorite picks over at prize picks to make some money this week for the PGA tournament that we've got. I'm going to get into the offer and how you can make some money over at prize picks. But let's talk a little about what we're dealing with with the course and then get into some of these plays. So it's not a major, it's the 3M Open, but we still have some opportunities here, particularly with what we're looking at with this course. TPC Twin Cities looks very gettable. The wind, the weather, everything looks good. Three par fives, an under par cut line is what we should be expected. The winner could flirt with 20 under. That is going to mean birdies. They're going to be able to attack these par fives. And that is kind of how I'm basing my strategy on prize picks this week. I will say real quick, if you're hopping in, checking out the channel for the first time, welcome aboard. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. We have so much content. Don't want you to miss it all different sports, including prize picks. Now, where am I going first? I'm going to the tournament favorite, Tony Finau, and his birdies or better prop. It sits at four and a half. I am going to have to go over there. Tony Finau nearly missed the cut over at St. Andrews. He did manage to find that weekend, and then he rallied nicely. Ended up in 28th when all was said and done. Very consistent player. He doesn't win as much as I and a lot of people think he should. He's found the weekend nine of 10 weeks. He's a prolific scorer. T to green, he's been positive basically every week. Off the tee, he's automatic. He should just be racking up birdie opportunities here. He's got three par fives. He's got a couple par fours that are inside uh, 400 yards. It's just a good course for scoring. There's not a lot of danger out there. Even if he does make a couple of mistakes, we don't care about that. We are asking, can the tournament favorite get off to a quick start in round one and card five or more birdies? I think the answer is yes there. I look at his scoring. He always attacks the par fives. Quality birdie or better percentage. One of the better on tour and certainly in this field. It's a weak field. Tony Fino should have ample opportunities to get off to a very, very quick start. It's a good spot there. He, he is in the afternoon wave, but again, I don't see a massive split. I don't see weather being that big a factor. So I'm going to get my prize fix card started with over four and a half birdies for Tony Fino. Now, if you have not been over to prize picks, you're looking to get over there. Daily prop based contests. Let me tell you a little about what they're doing. It's different. No sharks, no optimizers, not a mass entry type site. You're picking five player lineups, up to five players, up to 10x your entry fee. Prizepicks.com, or you can download in the App Store or on Google Play and use the promo code AWESOMO for a $100 first match deposit bonus. Link in the description. You get over there. You're choosing over or under different categories. So whether it's buries or better, whether it's matchups, which we'll get to later in this video a lot of opportunities different type of style and if you have some insight into some of these golfers or any sport you can get exposure to them in different ways and make some money so tony Finau over four and a half birdies i'm going to pair that with cam davis over four and a half birdies in round one same exact type of bet it's just with cam davis now and this guy is an absolute wild man he is a pure scorer. Birdies are better. Par 5 scoring. He's coming off an 8th at the John Deere where he gained 8.3 strokes tee to green. He's been positive with the putter in 6 of 7, so he's converting a lot of these chances. The thing I love about Cam Davis, he makes his fair share of birdies and his fair share of mistakes. In the last four tournaments, he's got 12 double bogeys. Somehow he still made the weekend. What does that mean? Even when he makes gigantic mistakes, he rebounds with birdies and a lot of them. So we're willing to say, you know what, Cam Davis, we'll throw in a couple double bogeys if we have to. I prefer he doesn't because I really do like him in the outright market as well. But he is going to score. There is no doubt in my mind he's going to rack up birdies at an extremely high clip this week. And I feel very, very comfortable with him. The other thing, since we're pairing these up, he's also in the afternoon wave. And I actually don't mind that because, again, if we're wrong, if there's a massive split, well, Tony Finau is going to be in trouble. Cam Davis is going to be right next to him. We might as well correlate that and just go after it the full way. Because if we get it right, that's even better. Then we have two guys in the afternoon wave looking really good, hoping to cash those over four and a half birdies. So two picks down, one to go here. Tony Finau over four and a half birdies. Cam Davis over four and a half birdies, both in round one, of course. Normally, when I do this video, I give you a third over or under birdies. I, I found a matchup, though, that I really can't ignore. So we're going to a birdies or better matchup. Basically, it's two guys, and we just have to pick who will have more birdies in round one. Troy Merritt versus Jason Duffner, and I am going with Troy Merritt here. 
I think that Troy Merritt has more birdies than Jason Duffner. And I was honestly a little confused at this situation. Uh, I'm a Jason Duffner fan, and it's been bad for quite a while. He did come in 27th at the Barbasaw in earlier July. That was nice. He looked pretty good. That broke a string of eight consecutive tournaments where he missed the cut. He had missed the cut in 12 of 13 before that. It's just simply not working for Jason Duffner right now. Now, in one round, can he get hot and make some birdies? Of course he can. There's no doubt. But this is a guy that has struggled with the putter historically, and he struggled with the putter consistently in recent weeks. Again, it's just not been good. He did flip it, of course, at Barbasol, but that was a temporary flip. That's four rounds of golf. I'm not reading a ton into that. On the other side, Troy Merritt, he hasn't been playing the best golf I've ever seen, but at the same time, he still made seven of nine cuts. One of the missed cuts was at the U.S. Open. He came in 30th over in Scotland. That was a very difficult course, and he pours it in with the putter. Absolutely electric. The last time he lost strokes putting where we have strokes gain data was back in March. He is just absolutely automatic with that club at a course like this where you're going to have so many opportunities to make putts. I really think that a guy like Troy Merritt is, is really well served by being in the hunt and being on prize picks here to look at that. And I'll give you an example. In 2019, he gained six strokes putting here en route to a top 10 finish. He's got experience at this course. He knows what he's doing. And most importantly, he's drawing a matchup with a guy in Jason Duffner that I just really don't think is playing the best golf. If you want to th say that he turned the corner, maybe he has. But to me, Troy Merritt, more birdies in the first round than Jason Duffner belongs on this card. Now, let's put it all together. Tony Finau over four and a half birdies in round one. Cam Davis over four and a half birdies in round one. And Troy Barrett more birdies than Jason Duffner in round one. You put that together. If you go for it where you got to get all three, you're going to get that five to one payoff, 100 to win 500 style. That is how I would do it. I'd go for it. You could do the two of three, be a little more conservative. But to me, with what we have here, with the conditions that I'm expecting, I think we're in a really good opportunity to hopefully go three for three and cash that ticket over on Price Picks. Again, if you haven't been over there, promo code AWESOMO for that first match deposit bonus. Just head over and check it out. A really cool format and a really cool site, even for these golf tournaments that are not majors. So for me, for everyone here, thanks to Price Picks and thanks for you guys for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. Hope to make some money on Price Picks. Good luck. Enjoy the 3M Open. We'll talk to you guys soon.